Welcome to Five Fast Facts presented by Chick-fil-A. I'm Sammy Kincaid and this is Mark Daniels. Mark, big road test at Temple this week. What have you been preparing for the broadcast? Well, it's through history first for Temple, located in Philadelphia. Schools founded in 1884 and the original intent was to help teach working class students at night. They were called Night Owls, hence the nickname Owls. Night Owls, Owls, I like it. That's there pretty cool. And who are some people? There's quite a few famous people that went to there Temple. There is. Bob Saget, uh, for people who know, both comedian and a, a TV star. Hall & Oates, for us uh, older folks that understand their uh, a rock and roll. And Kevin Hart also attended Temple, uh, some of the famous names at Temple. And Temple's been playing football for a long time. 1894, the first year, and Temple played in the first Sugar Bowl game that was held in 1935. Uh, they were members of the Big East, left the Big East, and now proud members of the American. And this offseason, they definitely had, uh, they experienced the coaching carousel, to say the least. Yeah, Jeff Collins <laughs> did a really good job at Temple. He replaced Matt Rule, and Jeff Collins took the job at Georgia Tech. They named Manny Diaz the head coach, and then Mark Rick left Miami. Diaz took the job at Miami. They called upon Rod Carey, who done a really good job at Northern Illinois, and he's done a very good job at Temple. So it was an interesting journey to get to Rod Carey, but I think they're real happy with the hire. And what do they do on the field? I know there's some yeah, weapons. Yeah, Temple's known as a really tough physical football team, and their defense is always really strong. So that's a challenge for UCF. They're going to get pressure. They're going to blitz a lot. It's a team that's going to come after whoever's a quarterback for UCF, whether it's Dylan Gabriel or Daryl Max in there. So it's one trait always known about them. they got two really big, tall wide receivers on the outside, 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, They'll challenge UCF corners. So Temple's going to want a tough physical game. For UCF, they've got to protect their front. And then defensively, one-on-one -on -one matchups going to be really important outside for UCF in this game. Thank you, Mark, for telling us what you've been preparing, and we'll see you next week whenever we cover Houston.